Hello, my name is Phil Grovner, and uh, I'm the center snare at Matrix. And I also play drums for Behead the Tyrant. Matrix is an independent uh, percussion ensemble out of Akron. And basically what I do is drive up there every weekend uh, I have for the past four years. And I think that, I think, you know, now that I've aged out, I can focus more on the band. But it's definitely, a, it's definitely defined my journey in Behead the Tyrant, you know, and it's defined my life as a different person that I am. The biggest difference between the two, besides of the whole marching aspect and making drill forms and getting yelled at about this and that. Like, we, we can't play one off the tag off? Like, really? Like, mentally? We're just so proud we can't play one? And, oh, you know, spending tons of money. One. Basically, Matrix completely directly influences what I do with We Had the Time. Um, more, more or less, it's, it's kind of training my hands. It's, pretty much been the reason my hands the way they are, be it good or bad. It's always taught me to be, to chase after something that I know is impossible, um, which is to put, just play perfect. And how they're different is in every, every single aspect. There are, you know, one of them I march and play with my left hand flipped over, uh, whereas the other time they're the same, and I kind of play whatever I want. Um, Matrix, everything's written out. Um, we play it to metronomes and stuff like that. And we basically just completely hammer the same piece of music into the ground all the time. Whereas with the band, tired of the one song, get stuck on something, we just start something new. It's a group of five guys instead of 40 people. It's just completely different. The best thing about being in Matrix has been not only the family I've gained there, but also some of the support. And it's, it's also helped me head the tyrant because you know, there's 40 people that buy into whatever I do outside in, in real life. And, you know, if I, if, if I tell people, you know, that Behead the Tyrant is this thing that I do outside of Matrix, then they fully support it. The biggest thing that, you know, that I can bring from Behead the Tyrant into Matrix is a little bit of the, the leadership skills. And not necessarily that I'm necessarily the leader of Behead the Tyrant, but the fact that, like, Behead the Tyrant is a completely independent project with five of my friends. The biggest thing that I can bring into it is kind of like group management type skills. Being the center at Matrix, I basically have to manage more or less my section with seven other of their snare drummers. With Behead the Tyrant, you know, we really kind of keep each other in check and I've learned so much from these guys about what is important and why it's important and I've brought that into Matrix. I think Matrix has affected the band in definitely a negative way as well and in that way that we pretty much have been on hold uh, for the past four years. We started in 2005 and it's now 2008. And as far as our shows are concerned, it's really all catered to my schedule. What I do is, the past four years until now, I have emailed out my Matrix schedule to every, every other person in the band. And being that we have maybe four weeks as, out of six months free in those four weeks is when we play shows, they are willing to kind of sit and just, you know, kind of play out whatever, whatever we got going on and they're, they're willing to just sit and let me do my thing with Matrix and bring it into the band. And that's one of the things that Matrix has completely kind of screwed up. Behead the Tyrant would be further along in the process of trying to get signed and trying to get on tours and stuff like that. We would, we would be much farther ahead without Matrix. But I think without Matrix, we'd be missing, I would be missing just skill.